Hello guys and welcome back. Tonight was episode 3 of season 6 of Black Ink Crew. Texas, here I come. And we started out with Donna pulling May <laughs> out of her panties. But Walt was thinking she was pulling Mace out of her vagina. <laughs> like he thinking she actually had the mace inside her vagina where she just had it like in her underwear <laughs> when she maced Max's sister the last episode. So this set the whole mood for tonight's episode. Walt tried to hire a receptionist that Melody going to send down to the bodega, she said, to get some paper towel. And when the poor child walked out the door, Melody going to lock the door <laughs> being petty. She should have just told the girl, look, um, it's been a misunderstanding. I'm the hiring manager. I need to see your application and look over it. And then we'll get back with you. I'm sorry for the misunderstanding. She shouldn't have did that. Mel Melanie going through a lot in her personal life. I've been saying this before I even started doing show reviews. But I tweeted a bunch of times that Walt should have been the store manager anyway. I hope Walt is getting a good check for this show. Because if not, they owe him back pay. Because he should have been getting a check for this show since day one, since the very first episode, he is everything. I mean, he should have been managing. He he was being more productive. Like, okay, do y'all remember? I think it was the first season or the second season when they had went on some tech convention. Teddy, nobody. It was supposed to be Teddy, but nobody bought ink. Nobody bought the supplies or anything. And, or uh, printer ink or whatever. And Walt was the only one that was really trying to go get like printer ink or something like that. I can't remember. I'm like, why he ain't the office manager instead of Teddy? Because he's the only one trying to do stuff. And he he just um, basically manned the door or whatever. But anyway, so um, Caesar goes on and gets tested for all these STDs or what have you. And the doctor tells him, y'all, that he has microplasma genitalia. Did y'all know that that was the scientific name that the doctors used for urinary tract infection? And he said that the urinary tract infection is sexually transmitted. My doctor has told me before you can get a urinary tract infection and it not be sexually transmitted. So... I'm going to need somebody to clarify because the doctors here say it can be brought on. But how do you get it? <laughs> do you get it from a toilet? Do you get it from not wiping right or whatever? So it's to me, you have to get it some kind of waste section. But anyway, that's all he has. He's going to get a prescription for it. He gets to keep his, his career. But what get me was <laughs> he come staggered out of that office. <laughs> Like he's in the faint and pass out cold in the floor. He's so upset. He's talking about he done with carbs. He gonna be a vegan. <laughs> he about to be a vegan. He need to make up with his baby mama. He a changed man. <laughs> he was so scared that he need to change his life. I thought he was gonna leave there and go to church and pray. Light about 20 candles. Boy, he was done in for, and <laughs> Ted crazy behind just sitting over there <laughs> laughing, didn't offer him no hug or <laughs> nothing. <laughs> but anyway, he make up with his baby mama. You know the rules. She said, no longer call her baby mama. So he made up with Crystal. And she is so cute. 
I don't see why he wasn't trying to work things out with her. And, and other at other times, instead of uh, y'all see me swatting at my doll. She ran up on me. I thought she was gonna jump in here in my lap, and knock my camera down. I don't see why she he didn't make up with her. Other times when him and Duchess was into it because she is so cute. She is so pretty. But anyway, I hope they be on a uh, on better terms and get along good. Because it's really good for the child. And the child is nearly grown. And he needs to be spending more time with her. And doing more stuff with her instead of lollygagging around anyway. And then Donna said, <laughs> what the signals wrong with Caesar, what he got? Strip thought. <laughs> I ain't never heard that before in my life. <laughs> she named off a couple of strips. But, who? So, Sky finally gets to go see her son. And the um, adoptive mom. And I think that woman was so sweet because that's something that's hard to do. I feel like a lot of her letting Sky come was to, um, excuse me, I had to get my dog together. She over here wandering around in the floor like a wet fish on dry land. And I just back my carpet. She over here rubbing around. Anyway, I'm sorry. So, I like, I feel like that she did it not uh, for the kids because one, Des really wanted to see her. And two, when like she told Sky when she let Genesis go see or go stay with the biological dad, she thought she was doing good by him. She had no idea he was going to turn the child against her and Sky, Lead him down the wrong way and make him become a bad person. Here he is, then had grew up in a good home, had a good life. Now you want to go out here in the streets and live hard? Why would you want to do that? Why would you go out want to go out in the street and live hard and struggle and have all this anger inside you when the truth has been told to you? You was provided a life that your biological mother wanted you to have. What you going through now is what she tried to protect you from. That's why she put you up from adoption anyway. So you wouldn't have to endure and feel what you're going through now. That was the whole point of the whole adoption. So here you are at this age. Everything that she didn't want you to go through and want you to feel. Now you feeling it at the hands of somebody that obviously didn't care. Because they cared. They wouldn't allow you to go through this and be feeling what you're feeling. They would have your best interest at heart. Okay, and then she said in the last episode, and I said this in my last review, it was something said about the adoption not being real. That's on in, in anywhere you can ask for that information. But then when they sit down and had the meeting, Sky was explaining, trying to explain to him that she ain't always had money. She didn't get her first check, so it leads me to believe that somebody been trying to feel it, put in his head that Sky didn't have money. But and she always had money. She just didn't care about them. If anybody has watched the seasons of Black Ink, we know when Sky came there, she didn't have nothing. She really wasn't trying to do nothing. But her whole focus in life ain't never been anything but trying to become a better person. Her whole focus in life has been to better herself, get on her feet, get her life together, so she could get to know her boy. So she could get to see him and get in their life. All she's ever wanted to do was get to a place where she could go see him. Where she could meet him. Where she could get to know him. That's all she has ever wanted. She ain't really even ever had nothing. She's just been struggling check to check like everybody else. So where this mystery money was, she did... Good hiding it because she ain't dressed like she had no money. She ain't never acted like she had no money. She was out there struggling like the rest of us. It wasn't until now, like she said, when the checks started coming in was when 
she become a cast member and her name started being in the roles, you know, when it, when they rolled by and all that stuff, when they made her an actual cast member is when she started getting checks. Basically when she started sitting at that desk is when she started getting a little piece of check and then she ain't going to be getting a big check. She gets a portion of a check. Then, you know, it increases as the show's popularity increase. Then she finally started getting to where, she could do something for herself. But then when her road increased, when she got this job at Atlanta, then she said, okay, now I'm at a place where I can help. I can be a good parent and I can try to see about my kids and I can try to do something for them. So I don't even know what they going on about. But anyway, I like how Sky was respect respectful to the adoptive mama. And when I tell you I was crying. They had me bawling. And crying so hard. With uh them. And when they met. And he does resemble Sky a lot. But see when they showed the dad. he re They resemble him too. It's like a mix. They were a mixed resemblance. But I will say Genesis. I think Genesis is going to inherit. The family. Um mental issues or whatever not mental issues but anger issues or whatever and I don't know nothing about the daddy's side because they don't show him and they don't fool him but as far as like be, uh, being moody or whatever I, I feel like he gonna inherit that and have those moments or whatever and I feel like now it's the time to start getting him help and the first thing to do it would be getting him back to a positive environment and out of a negative environment so he can work toward being happy and in a better place and understanding what happened because he's been being to me he's been filled with something negative that needs to be cleared up but that's just about everything for the show other than Alex showed up I don't even know if this is worth talking about he got a, a tat gun that works now. Caesar want Melody to uh, help him basically learn how to tat. Why don't Caesar do it? At this point to me... They need somebody in the shop that already knows how to tat. If he wants to retrain somebody to tat, send him out to Atlanta and let him, let C's babysit him. Don't nobody, you ain't even seen about these two shops in New York. Why you want her to have an understudy? She does not need to have nobody shadowing her, shadowing her right now. She's trying to make money to take care of her finances and stuff. She don't want to. Who wants to babysit? Like she said, she's wiping bus at home. Why white one now? He should have been honest on his resume. And then they have a lot of high end clients. And this, I understand this is supposed to be the low shop on the totem pole. But it's not enough. If if they had if they had oh shit there, Duchess Caesar and Melody there. Then I would say, sure, he needs to be an understudy. But she already still dealing with Donna, who ain't the best tat artist. Melody, um, Young Bay, and, and then we yet to see. Oh, oh shit, we don't know what he got going on. Who knows? So how I feel about it is, it's not. They need somebody in there to bring in some money. They don't need any more if and if he may be people in there. He need to, they need to do him like they told Donna. Go out and get you some practice and then come back later. Work on your portfolio because he they don't need to be fooling with him. The vagina slayer. And I told y'all my opinion about calling him the vagina slayer in the last video. Anyway, that's all for this show. Hit the bell icon. So y'all can get the notifications when I upload for the next show review and anything else under the sun that I do. 
hence the name all things nail because ain't no telling what your girl might be doing whatever i feel like i don't be defined or held in place i just do whatever it is i'm doing that's what's gonna be uploaded that's how i roll so anyway thank you guys for watching and i'll see y'all in the next show review box opening haul or whatever it is i'm doing see you bye